Uh, hey everybody, my name is Seth, this is James. We're with HH Catamarans, we're here in the Shaman Yard where we've developed all of our boats and today we're going to talk a little bit about developing the HH-52. The new 52. Yeah. The 52 almost happened by accident. Uh, we kind of started playing around with ideas on what we could do to do our existing boat, right? And, and there was all these new great things that we uh, started implementing on the 44, and uh, we got a lot of demand on our 50 to sort of incorporate these features into the 50, and it sort of led us down the rabbit hole of a whole new boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of did. And you know, we've got, it's pretty neat because for me, this is exciting for me. This is, I couldn't be happier in my job to work with a naval architect like yourself and to have you send me renders and images and talk me through kind of ideas and just we were just shooting ideas back and forth and marking images up with our phones and, and drawing on them and and we saved all those images so it's kind of fun to go back and look at you know how do we get to where we are and so you know on my computer here in front of us I've got some of these early images but these these ones are pretty interesting so tell us what was happening here with the first few renders. So immediately we wanted to remove as much of the sailing equipment off the cabin top as possible um, to maximize the space for solar power because that's just key uh, right. for a new hybrid boat and we wanted to clean up the lines. Um, we wanted to lower the helms and get it as good looking as we can. Right because right today all the lines come to the to the coach roof and they run across the top two R2 aft bimini's right. and the bimini's themselves take up 20% of the space of the coach roof. Exactly. So you're losing the solar space for from the bimini's and the lines that run across it. So if you can get rid of those two things, then that whole roof becomes a massive you know, and space. This, this first version, we actually, uh, on our OC50, it's a single helm version of the HH50 with cruising keels. And, and on one side of that, uh, there is no helm, so you can put a lot of solar right. there. So the first place to start was, well, we take that same recipe and make the coach roof like the same coach roof structure but with no helms up there right and uh, keep the eyebrows keep the styling in the, the eyebrow is a good point because we were excited about the way this looked but then we started playing with that eyebrow uh, if we shave that eyebrow back it, you know much like the 44 we really liked the sort of angular coach roof of those front flat windows that flip open for ventilation yeah. um, and and that look was just really modern and how what would happen to our boat if we did that so here's our, I think that, I don't know whose handwriting, that might be your handwriting, um, of what could we do and what would it look like? And it was pretty neat what came out. Yeah, and we, we really considered all ideas, you know, there was nothing off the cards. It was, um, every idea was a good idea to explore. Um, where can we put the helms? Um, right, if you're going to get rid of the bimini's, where are they going to go? Yeah, exactly. So um, uh, we, we ended up going to basically the same setup as the 44, because it's a really good use of the space putting the swing helms at the back of the boat, um, leading the ropes under the deck to the two and a half helms. And then we were able to really, really uh, make that coach roof sleek and aerodynamic. Right. And uh, so, and new features like the forward opening windows, um, yep. that we can put that in the 52. Yeah, and as, as we got into, this is round two, once we decided to go that direction and you develop that black coach roof color with the integrated solar, and I think we ended up with 4,920 something watts. I think four and a half kilowatts is the final because okay. the, actually the first boats are Ford Helm boats. Right. That's another thing we wanted to integrate. But uh, you take out the Ford Helm, you put on the uh, opening sunroof. Right. That takes away from the solar. So four and a half kilowatts on the first. On boats. the first ones. And you're jumping ahead, which is we, we did, we started this whole project trying to do the Ford cockpit. That then took us to this aft swing helm version. We, we ended up doing both boats, which is kind of fun. Uh, but so for the, for the aft swing helm, we had, we started doing these rough kind of interior salon, uh, coach roof, uh, uh, cockpit renders, and uh, playing around the safari windows. There's all that solar that we were talking about. Yeah. Um, and I mean, just look at the lines of this boat. We were, we were pretty excited that this was a really strong direction to go on. And then that, you know, the, these windows also, you know, we, we had to kind of change the whole GA. We call it general arrangement, the GA. The arrangement of the furniture in the boat had to completely change because if you're going to have um, you know what we ha what we developed and worked really well with the 44 kind of having that social l-shaped sofas that yeah. create a more social environment 
we kind of wanted to bring that idea into this boat as well. So we actually modified the deck mold and pushed the interior of the salon out wider. So the footprint of the coach roof is not wider, but that the dashboard space you would have below the side windows of the salon where we've pushed out into that to create a, a huge amount of space actually before our 52. Yeah, and then you had to modify the boat further because we had to, to put the helms aft. There wasn't space there because the, the bunks came up right up to the to the back of the transom so we you had to push those bunks forward and and the beds actually now kind of toe into what is the the hallway a little bit because with a little ang you know very normal boat angle yeah with the, with the bed but that gave the room for the helm so there were a ton of modifications to the boat and the 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 heads in the starboard hull as well we on the 50 there's two toilets and a shared shower in the middle in the starboard hull but it, it wouldn't fit now right. with these aft helms so we've gone for one head and one shower located midships but it's bigger so right it's, it's well and that, that was the other issue was you moved the the nav table to the to the uh, starboard side so then that the stairs had to move and so once the stairs move it's a whole knock-on effect so it sounds simple we'll just make the coach roof flat and <laughs> uh, get rid of the lines in the bimini and it turns on to basically developing an entirely new boat and this layout turned out great and then here are kind of the early renders of the interior of the of the aft helm version and uh, we, we love, you know, we've created it, we got rid, went away from the U-shape a bit, went to the island galley. Yeah. And I like that, that seems to be more of what a more modern home design is, to have the traditional island uh, kitchen, galley. And it fit the two fridge freezers perfectly, and it yeah. makes it easier to move around through the boat. Yeah, and it was a good opportunity to look at all the, the detailing, styling of the furniture as well, and um, you know, modernize that, putting in clear carbon accents like we're doing on our 44. Yeah, and um, you know the waterfall galley right. counters, all these cool cool things that we're really excited about. Yeah, it's a much more modern uh, version of of the boat versus kind of the darker woods that we had before with the fifty. So this is now we again we took a lot of what worked with the forty four with the five different color and inter interior color options, and you can mix and match those and still kind of develop your own custom look if you want to. Uh, but to take that and make it more modern, uh, our new interior designer did, did a very good job with this one for sure. Uh, I'm I'm loving this boat. Pretty much right here is where I was like, okay, this is my dream boat. It's 52 feet, big enough for a family to go cruising on. I uh, love the new layout, the flow, the, the sex appeal of the boat, and like the looks of the boat are striking. But now you've got, you know, eco drive, electrification, solar. Yep. Um, you've got, we you know, also great airflow. Turbo the boat as well. Right. So, uh, right. We expect, it's a huge point, actually. Yeah, we expect the structure to come out a little bit lighter than a 50 because we don't have all this mass up top. It's a little bit simpler, the construction of the cabin top. And then, yeah, so that lowers the boom, more mainsail area. We have lower, uh, extended the Longeron. And, um, and we extended the mast. Yeah, extended the mast, lowered the boom, extended the Longeron, right. more horsepower for sure. And then even just getting moving the boom lower gets rid of, sorry, lowers that center of effort. So you don't have quite as much stress on the rig up high by lowering the, the, the gooseneck and the boom, which is yeah, great. Yeah, a little more power uh, with a little less heel angle. Right. Right. Yeah, so this is, this is now officially my dream boat, and I'm excited that we're going to be building some of these. Maybe someday in the, in the long, uh, faraway future, there'll be a nice used HH52 for me. Uh, I guess the last thing is, is the OC and SC version. So we do make an OC and an SC version. So we're, we're kind of known for our carbon construction that, that you know, we really started with our 66, 55, and 50 with, with what we call our sports cruising models. They're all carbon, carbon decks, carbon... Uh, hulls, carbon bulkheads, but then the OC, our ocean cruising version, is a little bit more geared toward probably what I would buy, which is more of a cruising boat version, less racy, uh, still tremendous amount of carbon in all the bulkheads and structural areas. Yeah, 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 exactly. um, and big news as of yesterday, Paul has agreed to do, um, Paul's our, our builder and CEO, uh, so we're going to do straight dagger boards straight on dagger the OC 52 as well. Okay, yeah, I mean, that'd be cool. That'd be super cool. Now we've sort of got a middle ground between the big curved pre-prayed carbon boards and a, yeah. and a fixed keel. Yeah, so that'll become an option on the OC. So you can get an OC or an SC version, and then the, we do have both the aft swing helm version and the forward cockpit, which we're gonna go into in the next video. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, it's been a good chat so far. Hope you've enjoyed the quick chat and introduction on the HH52. For more information, uh, you can email us at sales at hhcatamarans.com. Uh, I'm sure we'll have some links down below with some more information. Thanks for watching.